The subscript tag drops the text lower on the line than the surrounding text on your web page. Here's an example. I'm going to type the formula for water is H2O. Now when I render that, it renders exactly like I typed it. But however, I want to drop this 2 down, so that's when I'm going to use the subscript tag. So I'm just going to put the subscript tag before the 2, the opening subscript tag before the 2, and I put the closing subscript tag after the 2. And now when I render it, you can see that it dropped a 2 in the formula for water. The subscript tag requires a closing tag. And everything that's between the opening subscript tag and the closing subscript tag is affected by that tag. You can assign CSS properties to the subscript tag, but I will discuss that in the CSS tutorial.